Hey, this is Mike Addis. Thanks for joining me. It's always my pleasure to bring you these videos. Today we're going to talk about opportunities come in frequently, and they do. When it rains gold, put out the bucket, not the thimble. That's a Warren Buffett quote. What does he mean by put out the bucket, not the thimble? What happens is great opportunities only come from time to time. You could say rare, but I think you'll see one or two good opportunities, great opportunities. That's, that's you know, determined by the person that is considering the opportunity. So I see opportunities come a couple of times a year. And so when those opportunities come, I have to be prepared to go all in, which is a, a poker term, and bet big. Now, what does that mean? It, well, everything's relative. So I'm not going to be betting the same kind of dollars as Warren Buffett. I don't have anywhere near the same kind of money as Warren Buffett. So he, he sees a great opportunity, which comes even more rare for him because he has to bet tens of billions of dollars. So those types of opportunities, there's a certain amount of people out there that are competing against Buffett who also have tens of billions of dollars and they're going to overpay and he doesn't want to overpay for anything. My situation is very much different. My opportunities may be in the form of hundreds of thousands of dollars, could be even millions of dollars. Okay, so there's a lot more of those opportunities that come across my desk than would come across his desk. So he's not interested in million dollar deals, it's peanuts. So here's the reason why, why people don't put out that bucket and, and make the big bet. They have a fear of failure. Real wealth comes when you invest heavily in sure things. The problem is, how do you know it's a sure thing? You don't know. Therefore, risk plays a big part in the strategy. Okay, that's one of the reasons. The other reason is, you have to have cash. Okay, if you don't have the cash, you gotta know where to get the cash. So the cash has to come from somewhere. So it's either going to come from your cash reserves or it's going to come from in the form of loans or lines of credit. And lines of credit is money that's available to you anytime you need it and you just go plunk in and go grab that line of credit and get it from banks. So I go and talk about how to get money and loan money from fintechs and lines of credit and stuff like that. So in my experience, these deals just come along once in a while. For example, 2008 financial crisis brought unbelievably great deals in the stock market also bought fantastic deals in real estate okay so to jump on opportunities in 2008 was it was a tremendous opportunity did I jump in with both feet in 2008 and put out the bucket while it rained gold all these great deals the answer is no I did not I missed that one I also missed out on the real estate escalated in, in 2000 real estate was doubling and tripling I had properties in Las Vegas. Did I wait? Well, no, I had some personal issues, so I missed that one too. I sold out before I should have, so I could have made a lot more money. So what do I do in the meantime? Well, in the meantime, if the big opportunities are not coming along, you still got to make money, right? So I make small bets, $5,000, $10,000, $20,000, $30,000, $40,000. Those are considered to be small bets for me, and I plod along making small bets, trying to get a 100% return on my money over a 90 to 120 day period. That's the game that I play until the big deal comes along. Let's look at the five rules. Number one, you have to have plenty of cash on hand. Where do I get the cash? Well, I get cash because I own and operate small businesses that generate anywhere from fifty dollars to $100,000 in income a month. And then I net a certain amount of that, maybe 35 to 40% of that comes and stays with me. So I have retained earnings in the form of cash. And then I, number two is I set up lines of credit with banks. So I have to have like a million dollars plus in available cash. So when things come along that look good, I can jump in and make the big bet. And number three, I have to be prepared. So I read a lot. I read and I watch for opportunities. Ford Motor Company is a perfect example. When the stock dropped below $4, it's now up to 9 I jumped in. Did I jump in with both feet and make the big bet? No, I did not. It was a mistake. I missed out on a great opportunity with Ford. I'm continuing to accumulate it, but at that moment in time, I could have jumped in with both feet and put hundreds of thousands of dollars into Ford Motor Stock. It was at $3.95 or whatever. I made a smaller bet. Therefore, I didn't have the courage. So number four, I bet small until the big deal comes along. And number five, I save cash and I don't spend any money, okay? And you could say number six is, I have to have the courage of my convictions. I can't be a wimp. I have to say, wow, the big deal is here. 
I've done my analysis. I've done my homework. I'm ready. I'm prepared. I can see that it's a fantastic opportunity. General Motors was another example. It dropped below $19 a share. It jumped up to over 40. COVID was a perfect time to make a, a barrel of money. Did I jump in with both feet? No, I did not. I didn't put out a thimble, but I put out maybe a tablespoon or a cup. So I, I, I grabbed some money off the table. I still haven't cashed in yet, but I didn't do what I should have done. Why? Because I didn't have the courage of my convictions. Okay. Now here's an, a few other examples and I'm going to finish up the video. One of the things I do to be prepared is I read constantly, maybe four or five hours a day. I probably read more than that, but I'm going to give you the low number. Anytime I have any free time, I'm reading. So today I've been up since 1.30 in the morning, went to bed very early, and I've been reading and writing. So writing is like reading because it clarifies things for me. So the more I write, so I wrote this in a blog post, which you can see on Mattis Cash, the more I write, the more clear things become to me. It's kind of like teaching the martial arts. I owned and operated martial arts schools for a number of years. The more I taught people what I already knew, especially the basics at the very lowest and introductory level of martial arts, then I am able to see things more clearly by my actual experience of doing it. And that's very, very important. You need to take action. So how do we wrap this thing up? I have to be prepared to jump in when the right deal comes along. It could be in the form of people. So when the right people come along, I have to be able to jump in and say, hey, I got to put up the money for these people and I got to hold on to these people and I got to work with them and develop them to give me what it is that I'm looking for. That's kind of a deal unrelated to, to making money, but people are also an important part of this whole equation. I need to have the cash on hand. If I don't have the cash, I got to get the cash. I have to be prepared ahead of time and then when the opportunity finally comes along, I have to have the courage of my convictions to jump in, whether it's an investment or it's a relationship. This is Mike Addis. Thanks for joining me on this video. It's always our pleasure. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, comment. Check out our other blogs like mattiscash.com, and you can look at our YouTube channel if you saw this on YouTube. That's great. You can see us on Instagram at Mike Addis 2020 and all that good stuff. Hopefully the editor will throw all these things up on the screen. Thanks for joining me on this video and we'll see you on the next video.